Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've talked to you last, but this week I really wanted to talk to you about camping items that you should essentially bring. Now I've done about five camping festivals so far and with that I have gained experience in what things I need to add to make my festival experience more enjoyable. I hate going to a festival and you don't have the necessary items that you need to get through your time there, especially if they're essential or comfort items. And I believe that with my experience so far, I have built a massive list of things that uh, potentially has really helped me um, these past festivals just, you know, be organized and have a good time while I'm camping. Um, I do like to say though, my last time I went to a camping festival, which was Oki two weeks ago, I was the only person in my car and I basically packed up my whole car, um, where no one could really sit next to me. So just keep in mind that when you want to plan for a camping festival, uh, bring the essential stuff and then what could be added after debate on bringing it if you actually have to bring another person in your car. But I will start off. I want to show you a video of one of my camp setups uh, earlier last year and then I'll show you I'll let my list of items uh, that I like to bring. So yeah. So this is my campsite. I have a pretty big tent. I have two canopies that cover my tent that block out the sun and the rain. I also have a light blue tarp over my tent and some tarps underneath as well to block out the dew and the rain. I have some beautiful tapestries to block out the sun and I also have some solar power lights aligned against my tent. I also brought my light up star totem just to bring a little touch to my campsite. Walking to my tent, you can see I have a screen porch. If you have the ability to, definitely invest in one of these. It's nice to have the bugs outside instead of inside your tent. Walking in, you can see that I have some chairs set up so everyone can sit outside. I also have a cooler just to make sure your beers are always cold. I also have a mat because I hate tracking in dirt into my tent. This is definitely one of my favorite items that I've added to my camping list. If you look to the right, I have a cot set up. This is a sitting area for friends. And I also have my food and drinks underneath it as well. I have a mirror set up so I can do my makeup. And if you can look closely, I have my solar powered lights wrapped around my whole entire tent. Also bring a bunch of blankets and pillows. I also got a two foot air mattress that I have no regrets buying. Bringing a shelving system was a great way to organize my stuff and use it as a stand. Lastly, I got a stand-up USB fan just because it gets so hot during the summer and I have no regrets buying it. These are some of the lights that I use from solar power, lanterns, to a plastic light bulb. Just make sure you have a lot of batteries. Don't forget to bring an extension cord along with a power strip so you can charge multiple items at once. Invest in a car plug adapter. This will help you out immensely charging your phone or blowing up your air mattress. Jumper cables are non-negotiable. It wouldn't hurt to have duct tape too. I also bring a little broom to clean my tent. Using hemp string is a great alternative to tying your tapestries. Also don't forget scissors. Make sure to bring a hammer to lock down your tent. Invest in these types of stakes. They're better than the ones provided. Bug repellent is a must. I usually go to Walmart to get the multi-pack of wipes since I go through so many wipes at a festival. My rule of thumb is always bring three towels just in case. Sometimes it's hard to sleep at a festival, so make sure to bring your headphones and put your earbuds in. Take some melatonin and you'll be able to sleep. 